Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video and for today's video we are working on the dinger. <laughs> On the Citroen C1, the Schrocco, we've all got tinted windows on there. Just to give us that little bit more privacy. I hate people being able to sit behind you at a red light and see me. It's just it's just a it's just a personal preference, you know what I mean? Plus on cars we tint fucking everything. At some point we're gonna tint these lights, at some point we're gonna tint the bloody whole car. But pretty much for today's video, I am actually going to be trying to tint all of these windows myself. And I've tried tinting before, and honestly, I could honestly say I raged quit in real life. It is hard, but without further ado, let's actually hop in the car, get home so we can start, baby. We have actually got everything we are going to use um, to tint these windows ourselves. We've got the tint itself. I've gone for a 20% and a 5% tint. We've got a knife, lovely jubbly, glass scraper, do it like a beauty vlogger, microfiber towels, squirty gun <laughs> oh and last but not least this is important a heat gun Boom. and the window we're gonna get started on is these ones right here because they are gonna be the easiest and I have a feeling if I start on this one, I'm honestly going to put my fist through the window. <laughs> Before we actually get into tinting the Fiat Punta, I've got to tell you guys about an amazing service and huge sponsor of this channel, Car Vertical. Now then, what is Car Vertical? Car Vertical is a used car history checker that scans through a car's history to show you if there's anything that you should be knowing about before you buy a car. Now, for example, let's say you are in the market for a BMW 1 Series. You come across one you like, you take the registration of that car that you like, pop it through on Car Vertical, and it will produce you a report for that car. And for that specific BMW 1 Series that we found, we can see that it has had no mileage fraud, which means that the mileage has not been rolled back. Car Vertical makes it super easy. This graph shows us that there has been no dips which represent the mileage being rolled back. We can also see that this vehicle is not wanted to stolen. Car Vertical even checks the databases of all of these different countries. It is so powerful. We can also see that this vehicle was not used as a taxi. However, we do have a warning light and it tells us that this vehicle was damaged. If we actually scroll down, Car Vertical gives us a super in detail look into where the damage was. There was damage everywhere. The estimated repair costs even shows us pictures of the damage of the car collected from car auction sites and other sources and as we can see that has had a massive crash so if you are standing there looking at a perfectly kit clean car it might have once looked like this which may lead to further repairs for you later down the line so that car probably wouldn't be for us so yeah guys if you are in the used car market make sure to use car vertical by clicking the link in the description for an automatic 10 percent off or you can use code the other sub 10 at checkout for 10 percent off this one report might save you from a disaster anyway thank you again car vertical for sponsoring yet again another video and i will see the faces in a second so i got straight on to tinting the side windows as these are the easiest because they are most of the time they are the smallest and they've got the least curving than all the other windows basically they're the hardest to mess up but they do give you a false sense of accomplishment because literally all the other windows are quite a lot harder to tint and that guys is of course my first window done and honestly look <laughs> Guys, honestly, I couldn't waste material because I know I'm going to need extra material for that one because I'm going to take so many attempts because that w the back windows are so hard compared to these ones. But look at that. That's all done now. All I need to do is give it a wipe. Obviously, there is gaps there, but like at the end of the day, nobody sits in the back anyway. But here's the outside. There's the outside and you can barely see in. Like you can't see that Rose is in there. And then obviously, if you come round. What's up, bitch? You can see her. Right, so now we got this window, and as a model, we can see Rosie in there. Okay, but you can see Rosie in there. Right, 
right so the back windows are actually all complete and look at that you can't see in there pretty much at all literally <laughs> can't believe it looks sick here's a normal window and here's the limiting literally i cannot see in there bossed it boy there's the inside of the, um, the tin you can still see out nicely obviously a little light gap here other than that Good job. Now Rosie's got a little bit of privacy. I left her inside because, like, obviously I'm, I, I got a film. And she's been crying ever since to come out. And literally, she came in the car and just sat down. She's a car dog, honestly. This is where it gets serious now because we're moving on to the back window, which is obviously larger than the side windows. And it's a little bit more curved than the side windows. So it makes it hell to tin. You have to heat shrink it all. On the side ones, you don't really have to do it at all, pretty much. But on this one, we're gonna have to. Oh, it's just a pain, literally. But if it works, it's gonna look really good. And nobody's gonna be able to see me pick up our nose in traffic. So that's, that's cool. Um... Roll it on like so. So this next step is the reason why tinting is so hard. These are called, I think they're called fingers. And honestly, they're the worst thing in the bloody world. Because if you, I don't know what, if you do something wrong, basically you cause a crease. Kind of like this. Oh, second, big fucking crease. It's annoying because you get so far and then it creases and you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> So basically this thing right here is a fat crease and like that is now that will show completely on this window once it's on so this is going straight in the bin second attempt i was ready and i was motivated to get this on oh wait second attempt we've got loads of creases up here fuck Third attempt, and I was ready to quit YouTube and fucking fly to Barbados or some bloody shit and go retire or something. Honestly, it's weirdly satisfying doing this, but at the same time, it's so frustrating because if I can't do this, I basically don't have a video. Right then, guys, so the tint has now been all complete and... For my, what, like 17th attempt at tinting, I actually don't think this is too bad. Um, I've raged quit three times on this Fiat Punto, genuinely. I think I've got a video clip of me slamming something on the floor. I was pissed off. Let's take a look. Come on. There you go. Not too bad. You've got a little light gap up here. You've got a little bit of crease, uh, like egg bubble kind of things um, up there. You've got a little bit, you know what I mean? Just teeny, teeny little ones. That's it. Chloe even said that they're tiny, tiny ones. I'll get, I'll show. Wow, you're not really neat cut, are no, you? Yeah, I don't look, know if oh anyone can God. see this. <laughs> Shut up, man. The curtain of that is awful. At least it's on. <laughs> People are going to hate me for this. Um, People hate me for this, for my Scirocco, oh. but <laughs> there is one thing in this little tube right here, and no, it is not Smarties. I'm sure it was Smarties. Oh, oh, me too. You know, you got to understand. When, when I show you guys, people are going to hate me. Inside here, I have actually had this in my cabinet for over a month or two now, and it is actually... <laughs> Can people see <laughs> the Rice the Boys sticker that every most people hate on the Scirocco? But it makes my cars unique. It has the massive fuck off sticker that says my, you know, lanyard kind of stuff. It's branding, mate. It's brand. It's free promotion. We're going Cornwall literally next week on the drive down to Cornwall, which is like six hours or something. Pro free promotion on the motorway. You know what I mean? You get me? And this sticker is actually from the Decal Studio on Instagram. They do all my Instagram stickers. But yeah, guys, we've got 
the fronts to do now and I actually do not know if I'm going to be able to do these 100% I'm going to have to take off these wind deflectors take off the door panel potentially we got lots uh, of meters of tint however I don't know how well it's going to go if I can do this though you guys got a I don't know, give me an emoji, a cookie emoji in the comments. Last look at the windows. I think with 50% on this one, it's going to match so much nicer into that. All goes well though, we've got to do a chameleon tint on this car as well. Guys, we actually did the tin. I'm gonna show you. I tried this on the Corsa before, and I rolled down the windows, and it just absolutely obliterated the tin. And I'm, I'm pretty certain it's not gonna shred or anything or like bunch up. And here is the final product of the tinted windows. This is 50% tin, and honestly, I banged it. Let me show you up close. So look, you've got no fingers whatsoever down here, I believe, no bubbles. You've only got two here and I can't get rid of them. This is my first side window tinted and it wasn't even that hard to be honest. This is where I literally tried to put the window down and literally the window falls off. <laughs> but look, hold on. So, no, like there's only little bubbles, right? Because like obviously the fairy liquid and stuff, you guys can't see it on camera anyway. But overall, Fucking gas with that. You got one one bubble right here, and I've tried pushing it in. You just it's just being stubborn, basically. It's a stubborn bastard. I've tried heating it up with the heat gun. It seems so cringe that I'm tinting a Fiat Punto, but literally, tinting's hard, mate. Right. So obviously, this is 50% on the window. You can kind of see in, like it's very clear in there. Like you can actually see in very easily. It's just a light smoke, basically. And then here is the other side. So not much difference. Right then, let me kind of show you what we're doing. Pretty much we're just washing a window, or washing it. It's gonna be clean in three, two, one, just like that. Next thing we do is we have to put the film on and cut it to the window size pretty much. And this could be a bit tricky when it's windy. Bloody hell, it's like farting with a bloody lion. Right then, so the next thing we have to do is actually heat shrink it. And basically what this does, it heats the plastic to mold around the window, you know what I mean? So I believe for the front window, you only have to heat shrink the bottom. That's what I did on the other one, it seems fine. Um. We've actually got these little fingers that appear. I don't know if you guys can see these things and if you push them down they just keep coming back up so you actually have to use a heat gun to shrink them down and basically flatten it out Jumping ahead a few steps, basically I've now transferred the film to the inside of the window and tucked everything into the sides of the window as well as the seals at the bottom so that it doesn't um, lift once the window goes down and up. And hopefully this is where I squeegee everything down, all the bubbles out and hopefully don't mess it up. <laughs> Right then guys, so, like I said, the tin is all done. Let me show you these bad boys. So, on the outside, here is the final look, baby. It looks fucking sick. I've done a banging job, look at this. This is Chloe's side, ignore all the bubbles if you can see it, um, because it's still curing. That will go in a couple days. Sides have been all done, look. Chloe, sides have been all done, yeah? Sides have been all done. Thank you. So, it has actually been four days since I tinted this. Uh, the, win the side window and pretty much we're actually gonna try them right now Because I'm uploading the video today, so I thought it was only right to test them in the video. This is a very suspenseful moment Let's put the key in the hole Turn the ignition on There you go. Chloe, do you want to try yours? Ready? Wait, go on, make it, go on, make it bloody suspenseful, Chloe. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one! Oh, is that cutting? <laughs> Shut up. Wait, go, go up, go up, go up. Oh, it's gone all the way up. Oh. It went all the way up, but you can see my poor cutting. Um, 
Look at that. Look at that one. Oh my god. Look at all of that shit. What the fuck is it? He does a good job of tinting, but then cuts it so bad it looks bad. My, my excuse is I had a blunt knife. Don't roll it down anymore, but let's try. Oh. It's come off. Wait. Kind of. It's just that top bit that's peeled away. But this bit right yeah, here. It's that bit. That's the only bit that's ripped, though. Well, apart from that bit, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that, you know. <laughs> Genuinely, I know I've done like a bodge job on these, but like I'm still a beginner. Like I've only done this, well, I mean, I've done this a, a very lot of times, but like, I'm happy. It stayed on. I thought it was gonna absolutely rip off and like. Put it all the way down again. You're just calling for it to fail, like. Yeah, Alright, all done. Little bit of a peel and not very good cutting at all. I mean, throughout the car, but. Yeah. I'm happy. So then, that is the tins all complete on the Fiat Punter. And pretty much, guys, I'm going to be opening up my own pop-up tint shop in London soon. Because, you know, obviously, I'm a professional now. But now, honestly, I'm super proud of myself for doing this. Because, like, I've had so many attempts at it. It's never gone to plan. But not only does this add a bit of privacy, it adds a bit of looks to the car, I think. And one thing I love about the back windows being tinted is... When it's nighttime and there's cars behind you, especially trucks and lorries, they're fucking blinding. So obviously having tinted windows at the back actually blocks out most of the light coming from them. So it's a lot nicer on your eyes at night, basically. God, I sound like a 50 year old, Jesus. But yeah, guys, let me know what you want to see next done to the Fiat Punto because we've done obviously coilovers, tints. We'll do exhaust at some point and everything. So let me know. Um, and I will do it for you guys. Let's actually have a look on the inside at the finish. Because, right, the back, it's not great. I mean, you can see loads of light gaps. It looks like... Five-year-olds cut it. Probably worse than a five-year-old, you know. It looks like I've taken drugs and I've literally just went like this. But yeah, um, that is unfortunately the end of the tinting. Let me know how I did. Follow me on Instagram at the end of Scott of the stuff and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you faces in my next video. Wow.